Okay. And a difficult day for the team, a big cap size and um, a long uh, job of getting the belt back in. Can you tell us first of all about the cap size, what, what went wrong? Yeah, it was a tough day in the end. Uh, it started off really well, some great conditions out there and getting out in some big sea state. And then we went into a turn up and we just got a little bit bow up, a little bit healed and we had a bit of a slam down. And I think something happened with the systems on board in the slam down, we then could ease the sails. So we did a you know, full healed over and capsize. And then we did an okay job of getting the boat initially back upright, but then um, just with the communications on board to the chase boat, we weren't able to get the bow of the boat back into the wind, so we went over a second time, and that's when we really started getting troubles and turn issues in terms of uh, getting water on board the boat. The boat then went turtle, which is a big, big issue in these boats. And so there was a moment there where, you know, it was just making sure we didn't lose the whole thing. Um, but the guy, you know, team did a brilliant job, um, both on the on the yacht and on the chase boats, and, and trying to coordinate the whole thing. So we we salvaged, uh, I think, the best we could. Finally got the boat upright, and then to cap it off, we had some major issues with with the batteries of lithium and batteries um, setting alight, which was the final uh, bit of carnage for the day. But uh, you know, again, the team dealt with that. So I mean, we've got the we've got the boat back, obviously probably in the best shape we could have considering when turtle and um, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll regroup and have a look at what caused it what the issues are I, you know the only positive is that we were about to go into an upgrade window anyway so I guess if this was going to happen it's not a bad time it's obviously very early to talk about the state of the boat but is this like a, a major issue for the boat in terms of the systems on board yeah, certainly for the systems on board, of course, they, they don't respond that well to being submerged for over an hour. So we'll have to, we'll, for sure, we'll have to gut a lot of that. Um, the thing is, the, the IP and the software is there, if you like. It's just getting the hardware replaced. Like I said, we're just about to go into an upgrade window for a couple of weeks. So, you know, our target will be to get that, 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 uh, those replacements done for uh, the end of that upgrade window. If there's a positive, it's got to be the way that the overall team dealt with it. We were on hand to witness it pretty closely. Um, I was super impressed with how everybody communicated, how quickly pumps were on board, and you were right in the thick of it. Yeah, well, you guys helped us out a lot, so thanks. <laughs> we appreciate it. You definitely played your part. I uh, yeah, the team. The team did a brilliant job. I mean, we 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 sort of trained for these things, but until it actually happens, you, you're never quite sure. And that's the first capsize we've had, you know, full turtle in these boats. So plenty of learnings for, for us, and you know, I'm sure for the other teams watching. And uh, you know, we'll uh, we'll take it on the gym and come back from it. All right, Ben. Thanks for talking to us. Thanks. I really appreciate it, Ben. Thanks.